He went in the store. Right down there. Oh my God. Guys, we got people down inside King Supers. Look, there's holy We know of uh, 10 fatalities uh, at the scene, including one of our Boulder PD officers by the name of Eric Talley, who's been on the Boulder Police Department since 2010. As many of you may know by now, tragedy struck yesterday in Colorado when a crazed man opened fire in a grocery store and killed 10 people, including a cop. As per usual, the tragedy got politicized and the crazy left took to Twitter to condemn gun violence and white supremacist hate crimes. But is that really what happened? Or was it a jihadist terrorist attack? Let's find out. Right after the news broke, the misinformation and politicization began. You had activists calling for gun reform, claiming, wow, look at all the damage one person could do. Nobody should own an automatic weapon. And it's true. It's a lot of damage, and one crazy person can take a lot of lives. That's true. But the argument goes the other way around. One good person can save a lot of lives, too. And I'm not comfortable with only the government having weapons, the government and the political elite. What about me? I want a gun. You know I'm ready to go to war. I got my hat. Are we going to war? We're going? General Ginger reporting for duty, sir! After gun reform, activists quickly turned to white supremacy, and the blue check marks on Twitter wasted no time in race baiting and race division. Let me give you a couple examples, and keep in mind, all these people have blue check marks. From CJ Whirlman, the suspected gunman in the Boulder, Colorado mass shooting is a white guy. Seven reported dead. Q, mental issues, bad day, parking dispute, or anything else other than what he most likely is. A white domestic terrorist. Or is he? From Dylan Park, a white man walked into a grocery store in Boulder, killed 10 people, and was apprehended by the police and walked out of the building completely unharmed. Right down the road, police killed Elijah McCain while he apologized for not doing anything wrong. Two different Americas. Oh, man. That's embarrassing. Tay Anderson, Araro, Colorado, 12 dead, white male. Charleston, 9 dead, white male. Atlanta, 8 dead, white male. Boulder, 10 dead, white male. Kasim Rashid, Tamir Rice was 12 year old black child. Police shot him in 1.7 seconds and let him suffer in agonizing pain for 4 minutes and die. Colorado terrorist is a grown white man who killed 10 people, including cop. Cops arrested him alive and helped him to a stretcher for immediate medical care. I mean, he got the Colorado terrorist part right, but he wasn't a grown white man. He was not that. Now, it wasn't just the blue check marks who were peddling on misinformation. Twitter got in on the action as well. Politics, trending, Elijah McCain. People are comparing the arrest of the white male suspect at the center of the recent shootings. Wrong. No white male. That's misinformation. And let me explain why. According to Jack Posobiec, we call him Poso around here, things are not as they seem. And why are we trusting Poso's opinion? Well, it's not an opinion. Time and time again, he has proven that his sources are not only reliable, his White House sources, but he beats the mainstream media every time. So that's why we keep going back to the well. Now, what does Poso have to say? Early information from a national security agent suggests that the Boulder shooter planned to target the Trump rally in Colorado Springs February 2020, but decided to wait until the next one on March 13 in Denver, but it was canceled due to COVID per White House official. Colorado GOP headquarters was also scoped out, same with a few Christian, Catholic, and Mormon churches, LDS temples, not certain yet why he settled for market per official. National security agencies are tracking information that Boulder shooter Ahmad al Isa planned to travel to Syria in summer 2020 but was unable to do so due to COVID lockdowns per White House official. Does that sound like white supremacist to you? Ahmed al Isa? That's not a white supremacist name. Not even close. Not only did Ahmed try to join ISIS, he was also an immigrant from Syria who got here as a refugee. And America received him with open arms. Now, for all my people who think that having open borders and hosting as many refugees as we can with barely vetting them is a good idea, does this change your mind? A little bit? 
And if not, why not? Comment down below. I want to read you a short excerpt from the Daily Beast because I thought it was silly, to say the least. On Facebook, his politics appeared mixed throughout several camps. He shared an article rebuking Donald Trump's stance on immigration, but also posted about his own opposition to gay marriage and abortion. How is this conflicting? He's a radical Islamist. Of course he's against gay marriage and abortion, and of course he's against Donald Trump's immigration stance. That's not conflicting, like whatsoever. Ahmed is now in custody and facing several murder charges. He should face terrorism charges as well, and maybe the death penalty. We shouldn't be wasting our tax dollars on him like we're doing with the Boston Marathon bomber who got a stimulus check and is still making his appeals. Now, the reason why I keep calling this guy a terrorist is because he is a radical Islamist who tried to join ISIS. And here's the most important part. He wanted to shoot up a Trump, a Trump rally, a political rally. He wanted to affect politics by injecting fear. Is that not terrorism? Ahmed, you terrorist. YouTube doesn't let me use the words that I want to use. And that's it for today. I wasn't planning on making this video, but the shooting plus the race baiting really pissed me off. If we learn anything other than the fact that terrorism is bad and shooting people is bad, it's this. Whenever tragedy strikes, don't be so quick to get on Twitter, because you're most likely going to end up looking like an idiot. Now, as always, comment your opinions down below. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you for watching. Get yourself a gun. See you next time.